Hey guys, welcome back to a new Gear Garage video. Today we're going to be working on a 2019 Toyota 4Runner. We're going to be doing a little mini build series on this. Today what we're going to be doing is a two and a half inch level kit from MaxTrack, a new wheel and tire setup. And for y'all 4Runners that know what it is, we're going to be doing a little bit of a viper cut on the front bumper to get a good fitment on these wheels. So let's go ahead and get started on the leveling kit. Right, to get this strut uh, taken out, the first things we're going to want to do is get this nut out for the sway bar end link. You're going to also want to remove these brackets for the ABS as well as the brake line just so when the knuckle drops you're not yanking on those. Uh, along with that you're also going to want to remove the tie rod um, ball joint back here. It's like a nut with a cotter pin. And then up here for this ball joint you're also going to want to remove this cotter pin, loosen up this nut and pop that ball joint out too. After that, we can go ahead and remove these top three uh, nuts for the strut and then at the bottom nut and bolt for the strut as well. And once we do that, we'll be able to get the entire assembly out.
Okay guys, so we just finished up with installing the level kit and putting all the strut assembly back in and everything. Uh, just one thing to keep in mind is when you do put everything back together, you want to get both strut assemblies in before connecting all the other um, ball joints and whatnot. But uh, we did go ahead and get the tires on on all four corners. And next up, we're going to go ahead and get it aligned. And then we're probably going to have to do a quick uh, hardware store run just to pick up a Dremel so that we can do the Viper cut up front. Okay, so we just finished up with the Viper cut. So a few things to keep in mind. We went ahead and did the lower Viper cut. You can also do the higher one. That's just personal preference. But for our uh, fitment issues, the lower Viper cut was more than enough. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is for the passenger side, you want to watch the windshield washer reservoir while you're cutting the fender liner so that you don't accidentally hit that or else you're going to have to go ahead and replace that as well. But yeah, we went ahead and got that cut and while we were uh, also out, we got the wheels aligned and everything. You want to make sure you do that after you get the leveling kit installed. But yeah, we'll show you some pictures of this uh, rolling and show you what it looks like all done. enjoyed watching us do all the modifications that we did today. We do have a few more things coming for this Forerunner specifically. Uh, those are going to be coming in the next video. But uh, yeah, if y'all enjoyed this video, go ahead and throw a like. If you have any questions or anything like that, just put a comment down below. And if you want to keep up with all the stuff that we have coming for this, as well as any other cars, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much and have a good day.